guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of August reading for you all. August 1st through the 15th reading for Scorpio. How are you all today? I am doing great. Hope you guys are too. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. Oops. It's coming out, you all. We're going to take it. It's a good one, too. <laughs> this one right here. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. And you guys probably already know it takes me just a minute. Please be patient with me. Got to wait for the right cards to pop out. That one right there. This one. Call him my name. All right, let's see what we got. King of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Three of Cups, Two of Cups, Ten of Swords, and Justice. You're clarifying. Eight of Pentacles. This one's the one that popped up for you. Ace of Pentacles. And page of swords. Got a few pinnacles today, you all. Woman holding a heart and envy. Hmm. Is the envy are you guys envious or is someone envious of you? Meditation brings answers. There's something better. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all. For some reason, I'm putting this Envy and this Ten of Swords together. And it just makes me feel like that you guys have felt like you've been sticked and stabbed, mistreated, maybe lied to, maybe thrown under the bus and run, run over a few times. May have even backed up and ran over you again a little bit. It just makes me feel like that you guys... There are either there's people, there's situations, there's jobs, there's something. It could be a one person, it could be a slew of people, it could be um, business owners. Something about this Ten of Swords makes me feel like that you guys are not being treated right. But here's the good news, you all, and it could possibly be not possibly, it probably is. Let me rephrase that. People being envious of you in one way or another. Whether they don't like you because of, your, of what you do for a living or how you handle certain things or maybe what you say. That I just feel like that you're being fairly, un, unfairly, you're not being treated right. <laughs> Let me, bless my heart. But here's the good news, too. That's all coming to an end. With this Ten of Swords, that means that that is coming to an end. That is going to be the end of that nonsense, and you're going to start over in a brand new chapter and a brand new beginning. Because enough is enough. I have all these pinnacles over here, and for some of you all, I honestly do feel that it could be regarding your job, especially with this Eight of Pinnacles saying that 
you guys are fantastic at something specific. I mean, you're fantastic at more than one thing. Don't take that the wrong way. But there's something that maybe that you do for a living that you're great at. I mean, you're at the top of, of your game. And that could be why people are envious of you because they're jealous, flat out, plain and simple. But here's the good news. If this is regarding a job, co-workers, employers, bosses, things like that, I don't think that's going to be an issue too much longer. I see these things coming coming around and you getting something better. So There's something better. And I said that before I just looked down to see that. There is something better. If this job is treating you like this, for instance, there is no reason to stay there. I just feel like that you guys have are going to have an opportunity that you're going to be absolutely tickled with. There's something better out there if this is... Hold on. Give me just a second. I want to, I want to word this the right way. It doesn't matter, I guess, if this is your job or if this is other situations. Either way it goes, there's something better out there for you. And I feel like that there's something that has your name written on it. Now, for some of you guys, you may be wanting to move somewhere completely different, get a new job, get a new career, change um, what you do for a living, possibly. You could be dealing with an earth sign. You have two earth signs up here. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm sorry, I drew a blank there for a second. But I almost feel like that one of them could be a spouse or a partner and maybe children involved as well. I'm not sure. Maybe this is your more practical, more down-to-earth side, seeing things in a, in a different way. Saying, you know what, I don't need this job anymore if they're going to treat me like this. I don't need to be around these people if they're going to treat me like this. I might need to move out of this area and move somewhere else if they're going to treat me like this. That's how I'm feeling. Now, some of you guys are definitely in a relationship, and I think you guys have each other's back. Some of you guys may be getting into this relationship, and it may be uh, a relationship that, whether it's a, a romantic partner, a friendship partner, a business partner, I really do believe that you guys can lean on each other and be there for each other like maybe you've never had before and that gives me a really good feeling because I do see balance coming back into your life if you guys have been um, feeling like you've been held back a little bit feeling like that that somebody hasn't tr been treating you fairly or that situation hasn't been treating you fairly um, I just feel like you know Sometimes I tell people not to watch news right before they go to bed, and <laughs> I need to tell myself that sometimes, but I do watch the news, and I do hear what what's going on out there, and I almost believe, and I feel, and I've heard that there is a, a third of the people that's wanting to move out of areas. There are more people looking for more jobs, of course. There's just a lot going on right now. So I feel like if you feel that you haven't been treated fairly in one way or another, that is all coming to an end. Because you guys, I think, is gonna, or you're gonna do something about it. I have this woman holding a heart over here, and for some reason I feel like this could be a motherly figure. This could be someone that has your back. This could be a best friend kind of thing or a sister or someone like that. Um, but I just feel like that you guys have support and you guys have people on your side. And if there's anything that you're wanting to do right now might be the time to start doing it. Because with this Eight of Pentacles, and this is something that you've mastered and that you're fantastic at, and I usually see this as a job situation, and then this Ace of Pentacles, I really do believe that if you are looking for something different right now, or maybe even your own business, or working from home, or whatever it is, moving somewhere completely different, I feel like that, that this new job opportunity or this new uh, career opportunity may give you some sort of financial security and make you feel a lot better about who you are and what you do and the, the choices that you're, that you're making right now at this moment. I do think too that with this um, Page of Swords right here, you know, 
on one hand this could be a child of yours on another hand it could be someone a little brother or someone to that extent that's that's uh, helping you out or uh, helping with your decisions possibly but I do feel too he could be a messenger of some sort and that in itself might be um, what puts you into a different on a different path getting out of this situation now on the flip side of this this could be your uh, thoughts your truth your clarity um, you know your 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 logically thinking about everything and how you should handle certain situations but I do see here that you're definitely ready to celebrate over something that you have made a choice you've made a decision and you have figured out that there's something going on right now in your life that is not good for you and they're not very nice and with that you're going to realize that there's something better out there that has your name written on it I just feel like with this justice card you know she stands for balance but I also feel like that you guys feel like you have been um, not treated so fairly you've been neglected you have been a little bit abused to a certain extent maybe not physically but maybe mentally but I see something coming in that's going to make you just grin from ear to ear <laughs> it's almost like Okay, let me give you an example, and this is not what I'm what I'm saying for everybody out there. I'm just giving you an example. Let's say there's a hit and run, okay? Somebody bumped into your car, and maybe even in a parking lot somewhere, and they took off, and you come out of a grocery store, and you're like, holy cow, I've got a dent in my car. Who hit my car? And you never did find out, and then you have to pay for the dent to get fixed and all of this other stuff. And the next thing you know, they, you, they find out who hit your car, and then they have to pay for it. That's similar to how I'm feeling. So even if it's not a car, you guys understand what I'm saying. If there's been some kind of misleading, misguiding, someone done you wrong and you never really found out who or, or anything ever got done about it, I feel like it's coming around and you're going to be tickled with some sort of news or some sort of information that you're about to get. I do. I really do. It's, it's, it's a strong feeling. Maybe not for everyone out there, but there are going to be some of you guys that are going to be like, finally, they found the person that hit my car. <laughs> you know, you understand what I'm saying. And it's probably not a car at all, but you understand what I'm saying. Somebody may have broken your house or done other things. Give me just a minute. Meditation brings answers. You know, Water signs have this intuitive side to them that not a whole lot of other signs have. They're the, they're the most intuitive out of all of the signs, water signs. So you guys already have this intuition and this inner guidance like, like most people don't. But here's the thing. When you meditate, when you pray, when you ask for certain things, when you believe in yourself and push yourself forward, when you manifest positive things and, and you start seeing them come about, it's almost like that you guys are, it's something that maybe you guys need right at this moment, especially especially if you are being feel like you're being treated like this. There's something about the spiritual inner guidance, powerful side that really makes you feel better about life in itself. So if you guys need to pray and meditate and, and push yourself forward and to always try to stay positive, you will go farther, I think, than you would if you didn't do those things. So I'm not I'm just saying that when you go within yourself and realize how how powerful your inner guidance actually is, you'll feel it, you'll see it, you'll sense it. And you'll love it because you can go with it and it will steer it won't steer you wrong. Your gut does not steer you wrong if you'll listen to it. If you're looking for a job right now, you might be getting it very soon. If you're looking to see if you can go back to work, I'm, I almost feel like that there might be something better out there for you. If you're looking for a new place to live, or you're wondering should I um, should I sign another lease for this apartment or this home or whatever it is? I 
feel like there's something better out there. There's something that you guys have in your mind right now that you're kind of wishy-washy about. Should I, shouldn't I kind of thing. Should I stay, should I go. And I feel like that if, if people are treating you like this and this is how you've been feeling, that there is something better out there for a lot of you guys. So whether it be jobs or new homes or different areas or whatever it is, I feel like there's something better out there. I do feel like with this Two of Cups, this could be someone that's coming into your life now or someone that's always got your back. They could possibly be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female. But I feel like that you guys are like two peas in a pod and no matter what gets thrown at you, you guys will always get through it. You'll... You, you stay strong. I mean, Scorpios are extremely strong people. So you guys stay strong together and you guys can get through whatever gets thrown at you. And justice will be served. There will be something going on that you will feel a lot better about, I think, by the end of this month. In the meantime, it's going to balance out your life, whatever situation that you're in right now, whatever, um, whichever way you're moving towards, I feel like it's going to be a lot better for you. You're going to be celebrating and you're going to be tickled about your decisions and about your choices by the end of this month. I really do. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. straight so here's the thing I really do believe that there's something going on and for a lot of you guys and you're feeling like you're being mistreated and I feel like that people are envious of you could be the reason why or maybe it's a little bit that you're getting envious of maybe not going back to work or not being back uh, able to open up your business or things like that school right now is a big issue too um, so there could be something going on here but you are not being treated fairly in one way or another that's how I'm feeling about it. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be male or female, but it could be someone, um, a romantic partner, a business partner, a friendship. It could be a mother-father figure, but I feel like this is someone that has your back. You could be dealing with children as well. These could be your kids. That could be another reason why it could be like a school or a teacher or something like that. Excuse me, but I think that you guys have... Um, people on your side and people that have your back no matter what because I feel like with this two of cups this is going this is some kind of a romantic partner a friendship partner a business partner a partner that has your back no matter what and you guys can can go and be you're almost bound together a little bit and the two of you guys can do whatever it takes to get through whatever you need to I do feel like for some of you guys, you're dealing with a job, a career, a move of some sort. And with that, if you are looking for something like that right now, it might be the time that you might be getting it. And I do believe that with this, there's something better. If you're in a job that you can't stand right now, you might be wanting to start putting your resumes in and start looking for a new job. If you're in a location that you don't like right now, it might be about time you start looking into other locations. Whatever it is that's not going on, good in your life right at this moment you may want to start looking into it because I feel like that there's something better for a lot of you guys out there and you guys already know it in the back of your mind but who may not have made the full plunge yet but in a minute I feel like you're going to I do feel like your life is going to start balancing out more I feel like that this is not only financial but for a lot of you maybe if you get this new job or this new um career change or whatever it is. It could be financially rewarding. It could be a pay raise of some sort, maybe even a promotion. Um, but I, this also stands for your security and your happiness and your health and different things like that. Taking a new path for you and your family possibly or your relationship because I do see you all celebrating 
by the end of this month, I really do think, and I know that this is reading is from August 1st through the 15th, but everybody's on a little bit of a different time schedule, but by the end of this month, I think you guys are going to make a choice and make a decision and, re and realize that there is something better out there. You might need to meditate and pray on it and really go within, and when you do, you're going to feel more powerful because your, your intuition and your instincts are going to give you advice. Um, I feel like this woman holding a heart is either your mother, a sister, an aunt, someone that is really um, loves you dearly and will always be there for you no matter what. Maybe it's a good friend of yours because I don't think that if you guys are feeling this way right now, I don't think that's very fair because you guys don't deserve it, okay? And I do think that you guys are going to switch things around and going to see things in a different way by the end of this uh, by the end of this month and you're going to be absolutely tickled about it. Could be financially rewarding could be celebrating by the end of this month. Your life is balancing out. And if you do have something out there that you're just waiting for somebody, justice will be served. Let me just put it that way. For some of you guys, if you've been waiting for it, justice will be served in your favor. I really do feel that way. This is a good reading, Scorpio. I understand that this is not so much but this is coming to an end and new things are coming to a beginning for a lot of you guys and you're going to start seeing things in a different way and it's, you're going to start opening up to a lot of different directions and paths and situations and opportunities and it's going to be the best for you. It really is. And your family or your relationship, whatever you have, it's really going to be a good, refreshing um, choice that you're about to make for yourself. I really do believe that. Good reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This is your first half of August reading, August 1st through the 15th reading for Scorpio. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.